guys so th my this video is especially for the people who love bicycle riding especially during the night time but why only night time during the day too if you want to take a turn you you need to give a signal using your hand or anyone could just bump into you without knowing you, you want to take a turn so how to let the person behind you know that you want to take a turn in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own side lights for your bicycle So let's get started. I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the most commonly known IC that is the 555 timer IC. This is the circuit of the 555 timer IC in a stable mode. So let me show you how does it work. Here you go. In this circuit, the LED blinks at a certain intervals. So you get an oscillating circuit. That's a perfect circuit for the side lights. But in this, we are not going to use a, uh, use the small LEDs, but we are going to use a bigger LEDs, or say a bigger load LEDs. So now, what I'm going to do is take out this LED, take out this wire too. If you want to know how to make the circuit, just click on the link below. And now, what you have to do is take the output terminal and connect it to anywhere on the breadboard which is an unused pin okay so now here you need a MOSFET so if you want to know about MOSFETs just go to YouTube type MOSFET tutorials and you'll get many and in so if you already know about MOSFET this is how they look and and the MOSFETs have and MOSFETs have three pins one is the gate, a source and a drain in my case I'm using a IRF 540N transit IRF 540N MOSFET for this MOSFET the gate pin is the extreme left one the center one is the drain pin and the right one is the source pin so I'm going to connect the gate pin to the output of the timer IC this way now take a resistor the resistor should be of higher value say 10 kilo ohms I'm taking a 10 kilo ohms okay connect it from the source to the gate of the MOSFET now connect the source of the MOSFET to ground so this so this resistor will work as a pull down resistor so when the value on the gate pin of the MOSFET is zero then this will pull it down to ground now this is the basic circuit ready for it now what you have to do is for just a demonstration, I'm using the small LED, but you can use a LED with bigger load too, okay? Because my MOSFET IRF 540N can handle a load of, it's like 33 amps and 50 to 100 volts, maybe, right? You can find that all in the data sheet. So in this LED, I'm going to connect the ground pin to the drain of the, sorry, the ground pin to the drain of the light yeah so I'm gonna connect the ground pin of this LED to the drain of the MOSFET and the positive terminal to any blank any blank line of the breadboard now I'm gonna connect the positive end of this LED to VCC 
So as you can see here the LED lights up and goes blinking as you had seen during the A stable mode of the timer IC. But now how to control it? So what you can do is add two LEDs. Okay, add two sets of LEDs. These are just one, but I'm telling you to add two sets. Okay. Connect the negative terminal to the drain of the MOSFET and the positive terminal. Okay, and take a connecting wire and put it on the positive terminal of the LED number 2 and take another connecting wire and connect it to the positive terminal of the LED number 1. So now these wires will act as a switch. So let me show you. When I turn this switch on, that is to positive terminal, this LED will glow up and it will blink. But when I disconnect this and connect this thing, this switch or this wire, this LED glows, the LED number 1 glows. This way you can this way you can control the turning or control the lights to show that you want to go right or left but what if you are on a road with no lights and it's very difficult to know a person riding a bicycle on the road so what you can do is turn both the both on so it's like a hazard light if you know what this will do is it will make sure that you are identified or you are seen from a distance to the people behind you so they just don't bump into you okay now when you use a bigger load okay so now I'm disconnecting this for a time and showing you how I made it okay so this is what I have done in the PCB. The, I have done the same thing but on a PCB. Okay. This is only the one this is only one LED which I showed you in the A stable mode circuit. Just ignore these two switches. I just kept them for trying and now I'm not able to get them out. So just ignore them. But still if you see in this circuit too, I'm able to get that circuit that I'm able to get that oscillating circuit or say oscillating output see the LED is blinking now the only thing is left in this is that you have to connect the LEDs here, here and here because these three pins are the pins of the MOSFET. So as I showed you in the circuit, which we just made on the breadboard, you have to connect LED from the positive terminal to the drain and the negative terminal to this. For this I'm gonna use two different loads. Because the 555 timer IC cannot handle such a big load, so I'm gonna use just 5 volt or say 3 to 4 volts for this. And for the for driving my LEDs, I'm gonna use about 12 volts because I have the LED strip of 12 volts. And yes, remember all the negative terminals or say all the ground should be connected together and that's the rule of electronics these are my LEDs I, ha I have stuck them, stick them in a, such a way that they look like arrow and join the wire here have made two, two of them the second one is here so these will indicate the right right turning and the left turning and when both on has a light as you know
I have also made a base for the for them. Okay, so if you want, you can stick directly directly on the board like this. But what I have thought to do is, I'm gonna place them back side, like say this way. So what will happen is that my light will come from here, and it will look more tidy. And good. This is a switch. Actually, I jointed. I joined two switches together. This is a DPD switch. Okay, and this is for the hazard lights because when I go this, it goes uh, for right turn. When I go this, it goes for left turn. And when I turn this on, it will go for hazard light. I also have to connect this to this. So one terminal of the LED will go here. Actually, from the battery, through the battery, the positive terminal will go here, and the negative terminal of the battery will go here. Then the, then another LED, the same way will go this way. So there you will have that.